So what's going on guys, make sure we drive that reviews and welcome back to another video. And if you know, I've been focusing a lot on my latest autofocus episodes where I actually do car reviews and stuff like that. But today I have a pretty interesting product to actually share with you guys and it's right here. It's the Kodak Car Charger UC102. And this is not just any regular car charger. This is a wireless car charger with a magnetic mount. And you might be thinking, how does wireless charging and magnetic mounts work? Because you know, having a plate in between actually interferes with wireless charging but however they managed to make it work with this product that's the reason I'm curious and I actually had to purchase one to try it out for myself and on top of that I've actually been looking for a good wireless car charger and also a mount for the zero core because you know the zero core does not have the latest Apple CarPlay and Android Auto feature so it's still using the old school Bluetooth and you know Bluetooth playing music and also using GPS on your device actually drains it like crazy and you know the heat as well so I was looking for something which I could actually juice up my phone on the go so I came across this and this retails for 99 ringgit but however this is on sale for only 45 ringgit so it's a very good deal if you didn't know Kodak actually used to make film cameras and films back in the days so I decided to just uh, purchase it and see how it fares in the time I'm actually using it. Alright, so before I begin the unboxing and also demo for you guys, uh, sub to the channel will be greatly appreciated. And also ding that notification bell so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. So without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing of the Kodak wireless car charger. Alright guys, so let's quickly go through the packaging. So on the top you can see Kodak branding, Kodak logo, so you can see the model as well Kodak car charger UC102 alright so let's take a closer look at the features so you can see charge on contact air vent clip 360 degrees so you can actually tilt your phone to portrait or landscape so you can see voltage protection as well and 5 watt capacity so yes it's not the fastest wireless car charger on the planet but if you just want to keep your device juiced up on the way you do not want to lose battery definitely 5 watts is more than adequate and I think 5 watt doesn't damage the battery that much because it's not pushing too much charge into your battery and also on top of that the phone will be on the dash so you'll be pretty hot so you do not want to charge it up too quickly as well so I think 5 watts is just nice alright guys so on the front you also get like a small window where you can actually see what comes in the box but we'll do that in a bit so on the side you can see Kodak car charger the model as well Alright, also on the back you can see the specifications so you can pause that and read it for yourself you have it in a couple of languages as well alright so I'm very interested to see what comes in the packaging alright so you can see compatible with these kind of vents so the old school type so if you're using the latest MERS and stuff like that it wouldn't work with it so I would suggest you going for the uh, dashboard mount or the windshield mount the regular ones Right, so you can see charge on contact, 360 angle and direction adjustable. So there's also an LED working status indicator. Okay, and then the regular iron sheet which you definitely need to install in the case of your choice. Right here you can get a glimpse of the product. Alright so let's quickly cut open the seal so I've not opened this yet. Alright guys so as you can see you have the car charger unbox. You can see the packaging is pretty simple with three items. First you get the air vent mount itself. Let me get this out of the packaging. So let me give you a closer look see right here so this clips onto your air vent and you just have to screw it on just like any regular air vent and you can actually adjust the angle so it's adjustable 360 degrees right here all right next you also have a micro usb cable this is not usb c but micro usb i mean is good enough all right last but not least here you have the car charger portion itself so you can see how it mounts in with this uh, square piece right here so you can just slot it in and get it mounted up all right so on the rubber pad right here you also get the Kodak branding you can see right here and then on the right side you can actually see the status indicator which will light up later on so it's a pretty straightforward thing it's pretty small as well so it's not going to be an eyesore on your dashboard all right so on the back of the box we also have an instruction manual and also this magnetic mount you can see it's pretty interesting the design you can see it's actually 3m back right so let me get this portion installed and i'll be right back all right guys so we are back and we did take some time and some fiddling to actually get this to work so the instructions that came with this charger are all in uh, other languages other than english so it was pretty hard to get the instruction manual online as well so i had to figure it out by myself so what i did is actually i installed the plate on the case and honestly it does not work with many cases so if you are using the official leather case with this uh, felt 
interior definitely you have to stick it to your device but if you do stick it to your device these metal points will actually end up scratching the back of your phone so not something i recommend but if you have the official leather case as your daily case i guess that's the only option but if you have other third party cases like i have right here so these are a couple of cases which i actually have left so these cases will work but uh, you do have to be careful where you install the magnets because you do not want it to interfere with wireless charging so i actually took this combo and went ahead and tried it with my mofi with my nomad wireless charger as well and they did not give any errors so which means the position is actually spot on the instructions even though it's other languages i did read the diagram and they said it needs to be like spot on in the center and i actually went on google and actually googled the, the coils on the 11 pro max to see where they are positioned but however they are positioned right in the middle of the apple logo so the apple logo will be your starting point so if you do follow the apple logo you're going to get it centered perfectly i do not like the look of it but uh, it is what it is uh, there are definitely some compromises but of course in terms of charging and how it wirelessly charges with the magnets is uh, pretty ingenious in my opinion all right guys so let me show you the wireless charging side of things so let me get the charger on you can see the indicators on both sides which means that the charger is actually powered up all right so let me show you the wireless charging you can see right here see it's charging no problems however the magnets are pretty okay you can see right here i'm actually shaking but your phone is not going to be shaking like this in the car but i i'm just simulating it slightly harder so you can see it's not going anywhere pretty sturdy magnets of course depends on what kind of case you use depends on the texture of the back as well i actually tried it with uh, the official apple leather case uh, it did hold up pretty well but it was much uh, worse compared to this case and then this case with the carbon fiber back you can see it's uh, pretty slick this definitely i wouldn't recommend you probably drop out so that's the pros and cons of having a magnetic charger and uh, i have this uh, super slim cases and by the way this only works with super slim cases if you have like a auto box or something like that now nah, i don't expect it to work because auto box cases are generally thicker so you can see right here this is actually a super thin esr case so this actually works but i found it very hard to get it aligned because you can see there are no markings right here so yeah installation wise i found it a pretty pain in the ass to be honest but uh if you get it to work then you're good to go and i think it's a pretty um good system overall except for the magnets because this is not made for specifically one device this is made for universal like samsung's uh, xiaomi's and stuff like that and even iphones so to get the center point that is uh, pretty tedious work it took me like one half an hour to actually get this done but anyway now it's uh, installed i will try it on for a few days and i will see how it goes but so far so good uh, i'm actually pretty uh, impressed with how it works and how sturdy it is right so would i recommend this product well out of 10 i would probably rate this product like 7 or 7.5 not the highest on my list but considering the price of course do not pay full retail price because vuna is actually selling this at 45 ringgit so if you do get a 45 ringgit you don't expect too much but i mean if you pay the full price or some uh websites are actually charging 189 ringgit so that means crazy i wouldn't spend 189 ringgit on this charger to be honest i will go and find other brands like maybe belkin or something like that all right so that goes my thoughts on the kodak car charger uc102 if you're interested i will try to find the link where you can get it i'm not sure whether viewnet is actually selling this at this price on their lazada store all right so that concludes my video if you guys did like this video give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video